Alright guys, hi, my name is Yelta C and welcome back. If you're new, welcome if you're an OG, which I mean, I have a 70 subscriber, so hey, everyone's an OG. <laughs> anyway, today we're going to be talking about what I wish I knew before I dropped out of high school and got my GED. So let me just give you guys a refresher of what I did, blah, blah, blah. So my story is basically over my... 11th grade between 11th grade and 12th grade I decided to just school I got my GED over the summer and I was like great next semester I was in college so yeah that's kind of what happened <sighs> so let me tell you what I wish I knew before I did all that and if I would have done anything differently the first thing I wish I knew before I got my height before I got my GED and dropped out of high school was that I wish I would have known I needed a standardized test like the SAT or the ACT in my back pocket. I didn't know that when I dropped out of high school and I didn't take my ACT or my SAT and that kind of screwed me over. I mean, I have this option of taking the GRE, but it's mad expensive and really, really hard is what I've heard at least. And people are study like, they study a lot for it. So, um, in high school, the ACT or the SAT are, are free, and you can take them as many times as you want, and my school offered tutoring for the ACT or the SAT. And um, I thought, oh, I'm just going to go to Turo. Like, I always just wanted to go to Turo just because it was easy, and I like easy things. Why overwork yourself for the same degree? Like, Turo has their own entrance test, which, by the way, is very easy. If you're a good student, then it's very easy. Um, so I was like, oh, I'll just take the entrance test and I won't have to worry about the ACT or the SAT. Little do you freaking know, you have to take a standardized test to get into a graduate school or a graduate program from Turo. So let's say I wanted to do, to, uh, let's say I wanted to do nursing, um, PA or OT, you need the GRE or the ACT or the AC, I'm just going to say ACT. Um, you're gonna need a standardized test to get into any kind of program, even doctor programs. Like, like even like the, the minute, tiny, little, stupid programs, you need a, a GRE to get into that. You just need a standardized test, which sucks. Because it's $200 to take the GRE, and it's way harder than the ACT. So yeah, wish I would have known that, totally would have taken the ACT or the SAT. Even if it would have gotten a bad grade, even if I didn't study for it, you just like need a standardized test. So yeah, <laughs> that's frustrating. The second thing I wish I would have known before dropping out of high school and taking my, what is it? my task task, was the fact that you need above a 600 to get into like a, a tech, to get into like a four year college, like Queens or any other kind of colleges that are four years that are like legitimate actual colleges. <laughs> Not that Turo isn't, but like harder to get into colleges. Turo was kind of like a little bit more lax with their entrance people, like they'll kind of take, they're like the pick-me-ups, you know, like they, they'll give you a helping hand, they'll accept you and they'll give you uh, opportunities to do better and to just be better for a price, obviously, like Turo's expensive. So in order to pass the test, you need a 550 in order to like actually pass the test. And you need, so I got above a 550 for everything, but you need above a 600 to get into a four-year college and I didn't do that like I studied I studied a lot of math and all my like my mentor people who were helping me get ready for the test they were like yeah you're gonna be fine like we we're not worried about you they're like you know everything you're gonna be okay so lo and behold I took the test I passed but I only got above a 600 on one of the topics of the test and not on the others so if I wanted to go to Queens College which I didn't but if I wanted to I wouldn't have been able to do that so I wish I would have known that that was not a possibility for me or I would have had to take in, I would have had to take all the other parts of the test again if I wanted that college and I would have had to wait it a whole semester to get my results and boom, oh my god it would have been awful second thing I mean third thing I wish I would have known and I didn't know it at the time but I only found out after I already took the test. Basically, if you get above an 80 on any on a region that is a part of the test, so let's say you got above an 80 on earth science, earth science is a section of the test. You cannot take earth science. Like you you wouldn't have to take earth science on the on the GR uh, well, on the task test because you already took it in your region. 
And I was like, shook it. I was like, because I already passed biology. I already passed algebra. I would not have had to take those things on my test test. And I would have just gotten like, I don't know what grade I would have gotten if it, if it would have been there. If it would have been um, a 550 or a 600, like if those grades would have qualified me into Queens College, let's say. I don't know if that would have counted. But I definitely would have known that it, I definitely know that it would have counted for a turtle college. So that's kind of frustrating and upsetting and ugh, why didn't I know that? I would have had to take in, I would have had to take less parts of the test. Cause like this test is eight freaking hours, eight hours. It's broken up into two days, but it's like a full two day thing. Like two days out of your life are just, you know, they're just, you don't have them anymore. You're taking the, that test. And then after you take the test, your brain is just fried and you just want to like sit there and just sleep and eat and be a potato. <laughs> so if I would not have been able to take those parts of the test, I would have been like, yes, this is good. This is good, good, good. I would have done it. If you have any questions about how I got my GRB, not my G, my task task diploma thingy, my high school equivalency diploma, let me know in the comments below. Although I kind of made a video about it, I'll link it in the bio down below. Also, let me know, guys, if you want to see um, a collab with me and my other friend. She also dropped out of high school, but she did it very differently than I did. Her process was way longer and she actually like studied for it. I didn't really study for it. Guys, I don't study for anything, okay? Like straight up, if it's not a test or a midterm or a final, I'm not gonna study for it. Cause I believe like, why should I have to study for my regents? Like I shouldn't. I took the whole, I took the class the whole year. I'm not gonna study for it. So yeah, it's probably why I failed a lot of stuff. <laughs> anyway, love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, Oh, bell notification. I mean, I don't even think we do that because I'm so fucking small. You know, my channel is tiny. So, yeah, I love you guys. And just, I hope I was helpful and informative and not everything like that. So, yeah, I love you. Bye. Mwah.